Hello, Alan Gilbert with Autodesk here. This is part 7 in our series of AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks. This was first presented at the Fall Florida Users Conference 2015. So in this tip, we're going to talk about corridor and what I call the disappearing curve. So what to do when you want to maintain perpendicular after your curve return. One way to do this is using an offset assembly. You can do that with an offset assembly and you only have to have one corridor and no grading objects. Let's take a look. So here we have a simple corridor entering a site and we've got curve returns and I have a simple section, lanes and curves. And I want to tie to this curve and gutter or this curve return and I want to be perpendicular to it with my curve and gutter. So let's uh, work on the corridor. Let's go to, uh, we can go to corridor properties or we can go right to targets. I have an alignment for the curve return, so I'm going to go to the right side. I'm going to edit the target. I have a right curve, horizontal alignment. It could be a poly line, but I'm going to need an alignment later. So this should illustrate the problem now. If we look, I can see my curve top and my gutter is disappearing. And that's because of perpendicularity. It's perpendicular to the baseline instead of the offset alignment. So how can we solve this? Well, we can build multiple corridors. We could do split the regions up in here like an intersection. We could do grading features after we do the corridor. But we're going to just show a trick to do this in one single corridor. So we're going to use offset assemblies. So I'm going to click on this assembly. I'm going to add an offset and just drop it over here. doesn't matter where. Then I'm going to go to the tool palettes. I'm going to go down to generic. And we'll go down to mark point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a point right on this edge of pavement. There we go. And should have did this first, but just delete that curve for now. Don't need it. And actually, let's go and edit the, the point code. Actually, I'm going to change the name too, just so it's easier. But this is what matters here, point name. We have to type in the name of this mark point because we're going to tie to this with a link in just a second. So now, mark point. Now I want to link a mark point from this offset to here that will control the elevation of this offset assembly. The uh, horizontals has to be controlled by an alignment. That's just a, a fact. There's no getting around that. But vertically, I can control this with a link. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click on link to mark point. And because of resolution, I'm not typing as I go. I just do it after the fact. So there's a link to mark point. Let's go edit the properties there. So I'm going to say link to REOP. That doesn't matter, but just makes it easy. Okay, which mark point do you want to link to? Has to be exactly the same. And here I want to omit the link because I don't want this part of my surface. That will omit the line that this is creating to go find that spot. So link to mark point here is going to go from here to here. And then whatever I put, I tie to this link is going to drop on the end, which is the curve in this case. So let's go back to basic. I'll find basic curve and gutter. And I'll drop it there. There we go. So we've got all the necessary things that we need now, except for we have to define the horizontal alignment for this offset. But that we've already built from this curve return. You can see it in green. There's the horizontal alignment. So let's see what happens here. So we're just going to click on the corridor, go to Edit Targets, which region? We only have one. So for the offset alignment for the curve return, or I'm sorry, for the that's already set. But what we need now, if we go into Corridor Properties, we need the offset to show up. Notice it has not rebuilt, so the offset is not showing up yet. So we hit apply and OK. So that'll rebuild the assembly or the corridor. Now if we go back to corridor properties, 
we should see the offset and there it is so now we just have to say okay what is going to control the horizontal position of that offset assembly because it has to have a horizontal at minimum don't have to have a profile though that link to mark point is going to take care of that so hit OK rebuild okay so this is looking uh, pretty good here we're perpendicular now to this REOP offset alignment but notice because we said okay uh, mark point add this curve once you see that alignment here because that's where the offset is tied to we didn't get anything so how do we solve this well I can go and split the regions and make a separate region with a different assembly through here that's one easy way to do it but we're going to show a little trick using conditionals uh, to do this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to select my mark point and I'm going to move it just just to make this easy there we go so there's the mark point just temporarily we're going to do something else on the ends here we're going to use conditionals so I'm going to go to my conditionals we have a cut and fill or we have a horizontal conditional or horizontal target do you find the target or do you not find the target so I'm going to click here for target found and then in this case I will flip this up and say target not found and then we'll close the conditional so target found so when the target is found when we find this REOP we want to do all this stuff so I need to move my mark point back down to that conditional so I'm going to right click move to I could have deleted this and started over but just thought I would do it that way so now if the targets found mark the point link to mark point back to the mark point place the curve and as long as I still have my horizontal alignment defining and the offset assembly defining where that offset goes we're good so here's what happens in the non where it's not found this is this conditional so I basically just need to put that curve in right so if we do basic curve and gutter and say there we go right. so now we've just got a few more targets to set up so I'm going to go back into the full corridor properties just to double check everything so notice my offset alignment is good still have our curve there so let's go back to the targets and the thing is we have not rebuilt the corridor yet just like before so let's go ahead and rebuild the corridor and hit OK make sure it's nice and clear and then we come back to corridor properties and we go to targets and notice now I have both conditionals so both conditionals are looking for our curve so if it finds it if it doesn't find it and again I didn't name these at all so this is not good naming but they're looking for the same target so it actually doesn't matter so hit OK rebuild the corridor so now using conditionals we have the curve all the way down we have one region didn't have to split the regions we we'd have to do a little bit to clean up there possibly or the triangles would actually be fine but there we go